The register doesn't survive from the King's new grammar school in Stratford-upon-Avon. But we do know that because John Shakespeare was a senior civic official, effectively at one point the mayor of the town, we know that his son William was entitled to a free education in the grammar school. And it was a tremendously good school. This was the period in the middle of the 16th century when grammar schools were springing up or being reformed or expanded all around the country in order to educate middle class boys, to prepare them for a life of service to the state. So Shakespeare was fortunate in his moment of birth. What was it like at school? Well, it was hard work. They began early in the morning and they continued till late in the afternoon. And they learnt by rote, a very old fashioned form of learning with frequent beatings in the event of the boys not doing what they were told. Shakespeare would of course have begun by learning to read and write. And what I have here at the Shakespeare Birthplace Trust is a wonderful example of what a young boy would have begun from. It's called a horn book and it's something very very simple. It's a little piece of wood with a bit of writing on it and in that writing you find the A, B, C, the letters of the alphabet, first in small letters then in capitals and then once you've actually learnt those letters your teacher would help you to put them into words and the first thing that you learn, learn by heart, on the horn book, would have been a prayer. It's the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. So the beginning of education is in the words of the Bible. Religion is at the centre of cultural life in Shakespeare's England. Very soon though, having learnt to read, to write, having learnt the words of the Bible and the catechism in which a priest would ask questions and the parishioner would give answers, having learnt those basics of religious faith, Shakespeare's teachers would then have moved on to the study of Latin, of the classics. The Merry Wives of Windsor is a play that gives a wonderful glimpse into Shakespeare's life. Not only because it's set in a small town, that although it's Windsor, it resembles Shakespeare's Stratford, but also because of the character of young William, the schoolboy, and his teacher. The parson, who is Welsh, as was one of the teachers at Shakespeare's school, drills young William in his ABC, in his catechism, and then in the art of Latin. 